Hey guys, it's me, Fail, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a big reactor. So, this is the smallest that I'm going to be showing you. You will need these materials, starting out with reactor casing, which is built 3x3 on the bottom. Then you build two up here, two up here, two up here, two up here, and then close here everywhere except for here so there's uh, holes on all sides but one. That is crafted like so and you will need it for quite a few things. Iron, graphite which is crafted out of, which is basically smelted charcoal, yellowium which is smelted yellowite ore, and iron which is smelted iron ore really. And then you will need to put a reactor power tap, it doesn't matter in which way you do it. Reactor power tap is done so. It doesn't matter where you put them as long as you don't put them in the middle of these blocks. There are there actually are interfaces, kind of, except for this, which isn't an interface. It's crafted like so. Reactor casing on the outside and redstone on the inside and nothing in the middle. Then you need a reactor access port, which is crafted like so. Quite easy, except for a piston which no one can ever remember. Some people can, but never mind. Then you need a reactor controller, which is crafted like so. Might be the most expensive of the items. You don't. You can also just put this casing here, but for the sake of showing you, you can also put reactor glass there, which is crafted like so. Then you place Yellowium Fuel Rod in the middle and it looks like this is a crafting recipe, more graphite, more iron and more Yellowium. Then when that is done you put a reactor control rod there, which is crafted like so, graphite, Yellowium, redstone and more reactor chambers. You will t see this turn into a multi-block, this will actually have something on the front of it. Then you put energy conduits here you can also use other materials other cables and other b this is the best way to do it I have found out capacitor bank is uh, from Ender IO these are also from Ender IO I'll just not I'm not gonna show you how they work because that would take much longer sorry if you want actually I am this is crafted like so conduit binder is quite hard to make. These are made, this is made with electrical steel which is also quite hard and other stuff like these and redstone, Just you can just use redstone blocks there. That's that, we are using a capacitor bank. Set this cable to extract, set this cable to Import, insert, go over here, get yourself some small yellow, yellowium, you can also use plutonium I assume, yes, so I may, you may need something else but I don't think so. You throw this in here and make sure this is at inlet mode and they don't really do much there. Go here, activate reactor, you will see stuff happening. Here you can see the yellowium sort of filled up. Stuff is coming out here and going in here, and it is quite quick. It's doing 260 RF per tick at this moment in time. Or oh, it's going down. Must be something happening. And every once in a while, here. Every once in a while, this stuff comes out on that place. It's cyanite, which can be used to craft plutonium if you use. Well, somewhere here yeah, you can see it. It's in the cyanite reprocessor. I'm now going to show you how what a bigger reactor would look like. You don't have to do it exactly like this, but the shape has to be like well, five by five by five or six by six by six. Remember it has to have these components. 
the glass isn't that important. See, I'll just go onto the server where I have built the bigger reactor. Hope it doesn't take too long. I'm now on the server where from the series Ultra Project Minecraft. I am in the creative for the sake of being able to show you what it looks like when it's larger. See that's what the inside is, it's just those have to be connected to this and well I've got a system running so that fuels coming from here to there to the cyanide reprocessor that is going into plutonium ingot which can be put in I'm just gonna put it in there for the time being. Then well here's stuff. I usually keep it off because it generates so much power. There would be basically it's not even worth keeping it on all the time. So I'm gonna turn this off again. So and it goes down. So that was that for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you did either of them, please tell me by leaving a comment and I can thank you all. Goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs>